Hello everyone and welcome to an episode of Serena Gaming. We are in Heart of the Woods again, where last time we met Abigail, who is the most adorable ghost ever. All right, light years ahead of where Casper could ever be. And she and Maddie started to get to know each other a little bit. We know that she has been dead for at least 200 years, but may have lost count of time along the way. Um, and really, that was kind of as far as we got. Oh, Mrs. May, Miss Mayer showed up and was very threatening and unfriendly toward Maddie again. Suspicious as always. And then in the end, we switched over and we are now in Tara's point of view, as indicated by the red ballerina in the bottom. <laughs> so are they used to sleeping together? Uh oh, yeah, uh oh is right. Uh oh, uh oh. So we've gone back in time, I think, to when they first slept together. Did they have glad to be alive sex? <laughs> At least informed consent is involved. Go you too. Or enthusiastic consent. Oh boy, you two really one had it. <laughs> Good morning, Tara. Hey, uh, yeah. Good morning. How, uh, how'd you sleep? Yeah, what are you thinking through this, Tara? Better than I have in a long time. Yeah, worn out. Although you do snore. Loudly. Harsh. That's not something you can control. Yep. Like, I'm, I'm all for it, but I don't know. Tara, are you okay? Sorry, I was just thinking that, well, you're cute. Okay, I guess that's a fair enough place to start. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the kind of thing that actually makes me nervous in context. 
And also, may I have just been reading a book about mermaids and sirens and being tricked into your own demise. More? Oh, okay. Hey, so oh, her uh, place. So I'm very lost on the timing here. Is something wrong? Your mom isn't home, right? I'm pretty sure she won't be happy if she sees me coming out of your room first thing in the morning. You made enough noise last night that she'd know anyway. I don't think she's going to do anything about it. Yikes. Oh, uh... Are you... Are you really good at it, Tara? Because I've seen no evidence of that. Great! Yeah, cool. Glad we don't have to worry. I'm going to go make some coffee for us. That's my bra, by the way. <laughs> Morgan is thick confirmed. You're not gonna... <laughs> All right, the Terra Normal poster in the back, the longer I look at it, the more awesome it is. I usually make it strong, but I put plenty of cream and sugar in yours, so you should be fine. <laughs> I normally take it black, actually. I saw your daily routine video. I know how you take your coffee. Yeah. It's like my stepmother's coffee, which can wake the dead. I love it. We always eat it after uh, holiday meals, like with our desserts, and it keeps you going the whole rest of the night. Is it too much? I can put some liquor in it if you want. <laughs> Trying Isn't to get her like messy drumming? Yes. Why do you ask? Hey, so, I think we need to talk. Sure, what about? Look, you're a really great person. I really like hanging out with you, and I had a great time last night. I know. <laughs> I love her confidence. I just want to make sure we're clear on what that was all about. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I mean, I'm not really the dating type. And I'm going to be leaving in a month. I'm happy to do stuff like this as long as it's... Tara. <laughs> we talked about this exact thing last night. You're cute, you're fun, and I really enjoyed having sex with you. But that's all this is, and neither of us expect or want anything different. You don't have to give me any excuses. Wow. Great! Awesome! Cool! Yeah, I'm glad that's settled then. You are totally gonna fall for her and are upset with this turn of events. Yep, yep, there we are. Nope. You are going to fall for her so bad. Mm -hmm. So, uh, did you make that sweater yourself? I did, actually. My ex showed me how to knit a few years ago, and I've been doing it ever since. 
It's a nice way to pass the time. If you want, I could make you something to take home when you're done here. Anything but a sweater. That'd be super cool. Everyone I know wears coats like Maddie's or one of those big puffy marshmallow coats. I'm sure some hand knit stuff would break the mold. Do you know how hard and how long it'd take? The fact that you insist on going investigating in nothing but a light jacket made me assume you didn't like coats in general. Maybe I was just waiting to get in on the hip wool fashion trend. Now I want to make her sweater. Oh, very much together together. I thought it was because of your shirt. You wear that same moon shirt in every vlog you do. I didn't expect it to be the same way in real life. Ew. Change your clothes. It was actually girl. Maddie's idea, believe it or not. Something about having a uh, visual brand for the sake of the show. I figured my winning smile would be enough, but I mean, as long as people like it. I didn't realize she was that invested in the show. I figured she didn't care that much. Harsh. She used to be. Back when we started, she was a lot more invested in this whole thing. We've been inseparable since high school, and I figured she was really excited to keep that bond going strong. That doesn't mean she has to do the show with you. You can be bonded other ways. That's pretty incredible. I don't think I've had any friendships that lasted more than a year. Oh yeah, it's been like around 10 years or something. Don't tell her I told you this, but we actually <laughs> met because we were both total goths. I, I want to see pictures. I can't imagine Maddie walking around with raccoon eyes and dyed hair. You have no idea. She was goth enough to put me to shame. Always talking about <clears throat> the darkness in her soul. Chilling with all other cool goth kids, calling herself Raven. Oh. It was great. Oh. You were part of a group? Do you keep in touch with any of them? I'd hope at least one of them kept the look. Not yeah. really. Most of them stopped talking to me when I told them I was trans, and the rest bailed as soon as I started to actually transition. Mm -hmm. Maddie was the only one who really stuck up for me. Oh? I'll never forget that. I'm so sorry, Tara. I didn't mean to... Nah, forget it. It's seriously okay. The whole thing is ancient history now. Anyway, after that, the two of us were inseparable all through high school. We even picked the same college so it'd be easier to stay in touch. All right, kind of jealous of Tara transitioning in high school. The only time our friendship was ever on the rocks was, well, maybe we shouldn't talk about that. Oh, you totally hooked up. He wouldn't say that if you weren't going to tell me. Well, I don't know. Quit being coy. You two totally hooked up. The Terra I know would never pass up a chance to tell a story. Well, if you insist. Maddie and I actually dated once, for a few weeks, back when we first started college. Everyone we knew was pairing off, so we figured we should try it too. It's our secret shame. I'm not surprised. You two would make a terrible couple. Yeah. Jeez, blunt much? Totally correct. You're not wrong, though. It nearly killed our friendship. Thankfully, we called it off and went back to being friends. We haven't had any trouble since. Until now, when I'm cold shouldering her. Until now. Yeah. Yeah, until now. Huh. <sighs> 
I don't know. I guess her deciding to walk away from everything we built together doesn't exactly make me feel jazzed about our friendship. Well, too bad. She can't spend her whole life doing the same thing as you. Her having different priorities doesn't have anything to do with friendship. Thank you, Morgan. What, like going back to school? She hated school. So either that's some bullshit excuse, or she just hates working on Terra Normal even more. She was talking about coming back. Having real proof seems to have changed her mind. And then what? She goes along with it for another few months and gets sick of it. I can't deal with that again. It's different now. The thing is... Now she's acting like she wants to be in on the action again? Am I really supposed to believe that she wants to commit to this? Yes, of course. But she... I'm not an idiot. It's not like I'm ignoring the fact that she keeps running off to the woods to be by herself. I'm supposed to just be cool with that? Okay, so this is a few days in. So wait a... I'm very confused about the timeline here. Tara! I'm so sick of all this bullshit. Maybe I'd just be better off without her- Tara! Yeah. Stop. Just stop. You have no idea what you're talking about. You don't want Maddie to leave the show, but you're refusing to listen to her when she talks about coming back. You don't want to lose your friendship, but you're freezing her out when she tries to make connections again. Love you, Morgan. Love you so much right now. I love your show. You know I do. But there are more important things in your life than talking about Bigfoot in front of a camera. I... Uh... She's right. <laughs> yep. Talk to her. Tell her how you feel and what you need. You can't spend your whole time with me and expect her to feel appreciated. I don't want to leave you out, though. You're the whole reason we're here. Plus, like, I really like spending time with you. I do, too. But we'll have plenty of time together. You're here for an entire month. A month is so short. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. So short. Do you want me to take you back to the cabin? I think I'm gonna do a little more investigating here first. Give myself some time to think about what I want to say to Mads. That's a good idea. Hey, first time for everything. Yeah. Nice. I'll go set up shop then. Come see me when you want to ride back. You got it. Can't she just walk back? Wait, are those my panties? Yeah, you're wearing mine. How do you not know your own underwear? <laughs> Shit, sorry. I can change real quick. It's fine. You can wear them. Just give them back when you're done. <laughs> Ultimate Terra Normal <laughs> Memorabilia. Oh, uh, cool. Thanks. Uh, I guess I'll see you later then. Sure. You know where to find me. Thank you. Any time. Gosh, now I really want to knit that sweater.
Have you guys actually filmed anything since the first day? Yeah, she kinda knows. Ooh, Morgan. What color's Morgan? I didn't see quickly enough. Orange. Hmm. So it's been a couple days. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need more evidence of that, Morgan. Oh, why they're really here. Oh boy. Now you have my attention. It again. I've tried it like six times, Mads. I don't know what else you're expecting here. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pollux bumped into the uh, controller. We went back. Hi, boy. Yes, you can sit on me. Hi. Hey! Check this out. Okay. On editing or what am I supposed to be looking at? Exactly. What? This was the footage that we took the other night. Remember, with the spirit and stuff. But when you watched, it I remember. Back, I saw it. Yeah. Well, it was totally fine a few days ago. We watched it a billion times, so you know as well as I do. Right. It was perfectly visible then. But now... That's so weird. So what happened? Beats me. That's what we're trying to figure out. What happened? What Maddie thinks happened... Is that the file got corrupted somehow. Either when you exported it or when it was transferring or something. But it was working fine before. Seriously, ask Morgan. Yeah. The video did work before, yes. Great, that helps us a lot. Isn't there a backup somewhere? Yeah, seriously? This was supposed to be the backup. I thought I'd uploaded it to our server too, but I guess the Wi-Fi cut out and that didn't actually happen. Oh, no. That one's on me. Well, we can't change it now. Yeah. Was that the only footage that was affected? I didn't check. Can't see why anything else would be screwed up, though. We just got unlucky. Super unlucky. That's way more than unlucky. That's a bit of an understatement. Without that footage, we don't have anything to show. Seriously. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Giladura. Work with us. Yeah. 
<laughs> guess we'll have to take some new footage then. Morgan, you don't have any other mystical spirits sitting around that we could film, do you? Funny about that. <laughs> can I borrow your laptop? I'll see if I can move the file to my computer and maybe salvage something. You really think that'll work? No, but you gotta try. No, but I'd like to try. See, Maddie, Maddie and I are the same person. So much it hurts. Sure thing. Thanks. I'll be in my room. Let me know if you need anything. Hmm. Yeah. Really? It seems like things are a bit better between the two of you. Did you talk? Not yet. I was going to, but first Mads wasn't home, then she was shut in her room all day when she got back. I was going to bring it up today, but then all this stuff happened. At least the two of you are talking a little. She must be feeling bad too. Maybe. You should have heard her before you got here though. I'm sorry. Nah, don't be. It's like you said, this is on both of us. Yeah. You really don't know what happened to the footage? I promise I won't tell Maddie anything. Nope, it's a hundred percent legit. It was working fine, and then it wasn't. I didn't even drop my computer or spill water on it this time. That's so strange. You're telling me. Mads is convinced I did something to screw it up, though. Mom? Has anyone... Oh no. Did that... Did you see that? I did. God! Yep. What happened? Heater died. Check it out. Wait, you're kidding me. I wish. Hmm. Was it a short circuit or something? No clue. Morgan and I were sitting here when it suddenly died. Didn't give any warning or anything. It was a lot like the... Like the footage. Yep. You're being sabotaged. <laughs> That's a pretty weird coincidence. Do you two think that, like, they're connected somehow? What, the heater and the footage? There's no way that could be. It's just bad luck. Maybe... Any luck with saving the video so far? Not yet, but I just started. Give me a bit. Right, right. I'm gonna go grab a blanket. You want one, Morgan? No, thanks. What the hell? The heater in my room is dead, too! What? Are you sure? Of course I'm sure! Come look if you want! Hmm. Were they on the same breaker? This cabin must have ancient wiring, right? No, it was renovated a couple years ago. Is the one in your room still working, Mads? That's Lumber so party. unfair! 
Slumber party. I don't get it. Why just in here? Is Abigail trying to get rid of the others? I don't know. That's a pretty weird coincidence. It is! What else do you want me to say? Okay, tell me I'm not crazy. Something weird is going on. You're not crazy. This definitely isn't a coincidence. You say that like you know what's going on. <laughs> hey, you okay? I was just kidding, but like, do you actually know what's up? I'm very curious. We can talk now. What's going on? Now? What the hell? That was like something out of a spy movie. Shh, not so loud. Okay, bear with me, because I'm not sure how to say some of this. I don't think that all these malfunctions are a coincidence. I think they're intentional sabotage, and that my mother's to blame. Called it. Your... your mom? Yes. And I also think that Maddie might be what? involved, too. It's not her fault at all. I'm afraid that my mother might have gotten to her first. She might not even know it. What does that even mean? Gotten to her... how? As in, she's not in control of her actions. She might not even be aware of them. What? You mean like, mind control? Hypnosis? More or less, yes. What? Okay. Okay, you're screwing with me, right? Mind control. Maddie! I'm not messing with you. I'm dead serious. What is going on here? Okay, mind control. Go on. Like I said, I doubt Maddie's even aware. It's probably more like sleepwalking for her, but it would make sense. You said she's been spending a lot of time away from the cabin, right? And that she doesn't like to talk about where she's been. Plus, the footage being damaged, and then the heater's dying. It makes sense. I mean, I think it's the mother just... You're gonna have to sell me on this things. more. I wouldn't say that makes sense. What's the point of it? Why would your mom do that? And how? Like, we haven't even approached the point of making sense. <sighs> I know. I'll explain. Okay. Yeah, that's how these things go. My mom isn't really my mom. To be frank, she's not even human. Not anymore. What? Yeah, let's the person start you've met, from the beginning. The creature is something else, using a human woman's body as a host. She has the whole town under a glamour that makes them loyal to her, and she has for years. Longer than I've been alive. I think she has Maddie now, too. Okay. The reason that I sent you an email and invited you to Eisenfeld isn't because of the forest spirit or any of that other stuff, although it's related, too. The reason is because I need your help. Evelyn, or the thing inside her, is going to try to kill me soon to use me as a new host within the next few weeks. How do you know? You were the only people in the world who I could think of who might believe me. There wasn't anyone else I could ask. She knows that too, which is why she's trying to get rid of you now. Ruin your trip, make you want to leave. She would never hurt either of you. Too many people would notice if something happened. 
There'd be way too much unwanted attention on her. But if she could get the two of you to leave Eisenfeld, then she'd be able to proceed with her plans. I'm pretty sure that's what she's trying to do, through Maddie. That's it, I guess. Yeah, still not enough details there. Okay, so then what do we do now? Yeah. Does that mean that you believe me? At least enough to go along. Of course I do. Hmm. It's not selfish. I'm so sorry for dragging you into all of this. Hey, I'm glad you did. Really? Of course! If some other paranormal blog got this scoop, I'd be jealous forever. But I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot to take in, especially the stuff about Mads. But if never coming here would have meant you having to deal with all this on your own, then it's a damn good thing we're here. Yeah, I agree. Now let's go kick your mom's ass! Really though, what do we do now? Pack our stuff and get out of here? You could totally crash with me and Mads. I'm sure she wouldn't mind. You'd have to get past that whole mind control thing first though. Yeah, funny thing about that. No, running away isn't an option. She would just take someone else instead. She has to be dealt with. You said it'll happen in a couple weeks, right? How do you know? It'll happen on the winter solstice. It's something to do with the moon. I don't really know the specifics myself. There's not a whole lot of information to go off. You're in luck, because investigating stuff without a real lead is my speciality. Yep. There'll be plenty of time for that, I promise. Right now, I should head back home. Already? Feels like you just got here a bit ago. I know. I wish I could stay longer, but I need to start preparing right away. There's a lot that I'll need to fill you in on, but it'll take some time for me to get ready. So, like, later tonight? Probably tomorrow or the next day. Okay, I'll lie low until then. What should we do about... Nothing for now. Just try to act normal around her if you can. Good luck with that. So avoid conversation as much as possible. Easy peasy. <laughs> so, see you soon, I guess? Oh, she's getting so clingy already. Right. Cool. I'll be waiting. Me too. Chapter end. Okay. Interesting. And we go back to Maddie. I'm actually going to call it here for the day. All right, that's a nice, good stopping point. I will note that we have gotten all this far and we have yet to get to any choices yet. We're still dealing with just straight narrative. I don't know when we'll begin to make decisions that lead to the multiple endings. I'm hoping it's soon though. Anyway, we'll find out more next time when you join me for another episode of Serena Gaming. Thank you and I'll see you then.